Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And we are heading towards the end of this season. And we are going up against probably one of the toughest teams on our schedule here to end the season as we do play a couple of Pac-12 games to finish it off. And in this one, we're going up against Arizona State, who is probably the most underrated team in the nation right now. One of the top scoring offenses and one of the most underrated defenses as well. This is going to be a tough game. But right now, looking at our projection, we're actually projected to play Iowa once again, which would be kind of a bummer. But hey, we got to win in order to be in the national championship. So we already lost earlier. So I guess we're paying for that right now. So we need other teams to lose in order for us to get in. So just looking at our recruits, we have a few recruits from last time. Drew McFadden, Bill Hill, Kai Malik Calgary, and Chris Weber all coming. And another recruit, Dominique James. I really love him. 89 speed. I'm actually excited to add him to our defense. I don't know where he would play, but right now he's an outside linebacker. I could imagine him playing some type of hybrid linebacker where he shifts to all three positions. Outside, right outside, left outside, and middle. So we are number six in the nation here. And looking at Arizona State, they have one of the best offenses. You can see they have Taylor at quarterback. A.J. Carter is back at running back. It seems like he's been there forever, but this is his senior season at running back. He has ran for over 1,000 yards. So here's Arizona starting out, giving it right to him, man. He is the heartbeat of this team as he gets a gain of 10 right away, going right back to him on a second and inches. He's throwing a stiff arm to Marcus Daniels and getting eight yards on that one. Let's just look at Aaron Taylor. He is a junior red shirt, six foot, but he is the most accurate quarterback I think we have gone up against this season. 98 accuracy, 91 throw power. It's a no-brainer why he's got 30 touchdowns and nine interceptions. And then A.J. Carter is not a speed running back, but he's very elusive. He can get through the hole quickly. And he has another weapon on offense as well to throw to. That's Jordan Porter, who has been their leading receiver for a while now. And they actually have quite a bit of a drop after Jordan Porter. So he's going to be a guy they go to a lot in this game. So here's their tight end, Jarrett Caldwell, getting 16 yards, followed up by a play action throw across the middle of that time, right back to Caldwell. And back-to-back 16-yard -back gains for him. And now Arizona State, like I said, they have one of the best offenses in the nation. Here's Taylor handing it off to Sturgis, the backup running back. He breaks a tackle and gets inside the five. Brock Sturgis, the sophomore running back, his first carry goes for 15 yards. So now here is Taylor from the shotgun inside the five. Quick throw over the middle. He's got Jordan Porter for a three-yard touchdown grab. And just look at the stats. 11 touchdowns, 1,000 yards receiving for him. And they are going to take... The 7-0 lead here at home. So this is going to be a tough environment to play in as here's Jay Taylor getting the handoff up the middle to start out with the game. He gets a gain of 7. So Taylor's still in the game. He gets the counterplay to the left side. He gets another gain of 6 as he falls forward and makes it a 2nd and 4 close to the 45-yard line. Jennings, quick throw over the middle. He's got Sammy Baldwin who jukes his way past the 50 for a 15-yard gain. I really like him a lot. And I'm definitely looking for him to step up next year, especially with Carl Wolf, uh, you know, leaving us. He's a senior. And here, Drayvon Jennings scrambles out to the right side, and he takes the sack. That's a loss of nine yards. That's a big sack. So third and 19, here is Jennings with the throw to the right side. And he's going to find Matt Pollard, 21 yards. Take another look at this one-handed grab by Matt Pollard. I thought this was an incomplete pass. But somehow Matt Pollard gets his hand out there and he just sticks it. And that's a first down. So now this drive does continue. It's third and three. Here is Akusi getting open from the slot, the junior red shirt. And he picks up seven yards, moving the chains on that one. So now on a third and five, he's a throw out to the right side. And that's Sammy Baldwin in for a touchdown. 11 yard touchdown pass from Dr Jennings. And just like that, it's a six for seven drive for him and a touchdown. So now here comes Aaron Taylor back out onto the field, and his first pass is incomplete, and that brings it to a third and nine. Here's a screen pass out to A.J. Carter, who picks up a couple of blocks, and he's got a lot of room, and he's going to throw off one more tackler, and he's going to get to about the 45-yard line. That one goes for 33 yards, as we were not expecting that screen pass there on that play. 
So now a second and nine. Here's a throw out to Allen, but that's only picking up a gain of four as the passing offense is out for them. They've been spreading the ball out five wide, four wide sets. So now A.J. Carter, another screen. He gets a big block on the outside from his receiver, and that's a gain of 18. They are killing us through the air so far to start this game, and we're going to have to tidy up the defense. But here is Carter on the ground. Look at him still fighting for yards. He's inside the 10-yard line on a 17-yard run. Take another look at that. He runs over two of our guys at the same time, and he's at the seven-yard line on a second and goal. Throw across the middle, and that's Rivero. Rashid Rivero open for a seven-yard touchdown run, and Aaron Taylor and A.J. Taylor, A.J. Carter, are making this offense look great so far, and they take the seven-point lead as we're now down by seven as our offense comes back out onto the field. So now on a second and two, three wide receivers set. Throwing the ball deep, getting hit as we throw, but that's Carl Wolf downfield, and he's at the 25-yard line on the opposite side of the field. And Drayvon Jennings shows off his arm talent with that throw. That's a gain of 50. So now we continue this drive inside the 30-yard line. Denzel Knox picking up a gain of seven. So now a third and three, two, two backfield, backs in the backfield, and there's Denzel Knox finding the open hole on that one. That's a gain of 11 as we move this ball inside the five-yard line. So now a second and goal. They're sending a blitz right away, but Matt Pollard is just sitting there waiting for that one. And that's another touchdown, and both quarterbacks start out hot. That's an eight-for-nine start for Drayvon Jennings. So now on the next drive, here's Taylor throwing the screen pass, but this time we're ready for it. That's a loss of four by A.J. Carter as that brings up a third and ten. Taylor throw it to the right side. He's got Rivero again, but that's a nice tackle by Michael Cummings stopping the first down, and we force the punt. So now we get the ball back close to the 50-yard line after a good champagne green return. Here is Matt Pollard. He's picking up only a gain of five on that one as this defense is actually flying to the ball. We had to get rid of that one pretty quickly on the run. So here is Jay Taylor. He's getting another opportunity to run the ball, and that's a gain of six. So now this clock does wind down to under two minutes left here in the first half. Throw across the middle. That's Sammy Baldwin downfield. I actually thought we threw that one to Akusi over the middle. You see he's waving his hand, but we actually throw it to the deep man, and that's Sammy Baldwin. So we actually get more yardage out of that play. So now we move the clock to under a minute left. Denzel Knox getting the carry. He's getting up the middle for only a gain of seven, but that's moving the chains as this clock just ticks. We have to leave no time left for them, but we need to get into the end zone. We get smacked on that one as Denzel Knox gets shaken up a little bit. He has to come out for a play. So now here is Jay Taylor into the game on a third and goal. Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He can't get to the pylon. So we actually get held to three points here on this goal line stand. And we go into halftime kicking that field goal. But this is a dead even game here as both offenses have come to play in this one. As wow, this is the game that we have to win here. We need to go to this conference championship. 17-14 going into half. The second half is going to be a good one. So now we start the second half out with the ball. Jennings has been hot to start out this game. Here's Jennings with a throw across the middle. He's got a Kusi who holds on to it in traffic. That's a gain of 18. Nice catch by the junior. So now a second and two. Here's a handoff up the middle, and that's Denzel Knox with some nice blocking from the offensive line, and that's a gain of seven as he's got 50 yards rushing in this game. So on a second and five, here's a whip route, this time by Raheem Akusi, who's getting tackled on the sideline but moving the chains once again for a gain of seven. So now first and ten once again. Here's a throw to the left side. He's got his man Champagne Green, who's been doing pretty well in his freshman season. He picks up a gain of 15 for his first catch of the game. So now a second and ten. Here's Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's going to make a man miss. He's going to take it himself and get tackled. And that's going to be a gain of three, making it a third and seven. So snap from the 15-yard line, from the shotgun, throw across the middle. That's Sammy Baldwin, who's going to try to fight his way into the end zone, but he gets tackled at about the one-yard line as Sammy Baldwin's already got a touchdown, six receptions for 68 yards as Denzel Knox finishes off this drive with the two-yard carry up the middle. 
and that makes it a 10-point game here in the middle of the third quarter. We burned a lot of clock on that drive. So here's Arizona State out for their first offensive possession of the second half. Taylor from the shotgun, flag on the play. He's going to throw it out of bounds, but let's take a look at the flag. What is it? Offsides on the defense. Take another look. Andre Armstead, he points across the ball, and they snap it while he's pointing, and that's the offside. So now third and one, they get another opportunity. Here's a pitch play out to the right side. And look at A.J. Carter picking up a couple of blocks and breaking another tackle. He's off to the races. He breaks a third. And look at him inside the 25-yard line on the opposite side of the field. The senior has come to play for his final game versus SJSU. So here's A.J. Carter on the next play. He gets another big gain. Gain of 12. This guy is tough to bring down as that one gets him over. 100 yards. So now on a first and goal, here's a throw across the middle. That's Rivero as well. Taylor is just making all kinds of throws in this game right on the money as he avoided the deflection on that one. So now giving it off to A.J. Carter who finishes off this drive with the one yard carry and Arizona State is still in this game down by three, making it a game. So now on a first and 10 on the next drive. Here's a throw deep down the right sideline and that's Sammy Baldwin, 35 yards on that pass. And, and look at Jennings, 17 for 19, only two incompletions. He has as many incompletions as he does touchdowns. That's the type of game he's having. So now a couple of plays later here, third and 11, scrambling out to the right side. Jennings has got a lot of room and he's gonna take this one in himself. Nobody is home on the spy. I'm surprised a dual threat quarterback they don't have anybody home, and that's a 10-point lead once again here for the Spartans in the fourth quarter. So here is A.J. Carter. They're continuing their rushing attack probably both ways, passing the ball and running the ball. It's probably a smart strategy as it's worked up to this point. But here on third and three, a pitch out to A.J. Carter. They tried the fake fullback dive pitch out to A.J. Carter, and look at our defense. Stay in discipline. And look at J James Will Smith there for the initial stop. And Michael Cummings comes up with the tackle. So we do get them to punt, it a ball, punt, punt the ball away. And look at us just trying to run the ball, trying to run this clock. But this defense is swarming to the ball on that one. So now a third and nine. Here's a throw out to the right side. That's Champagne Green who's got a lot of room. He breaks the tackle and he does get it to the first down marker with that speed. I trust him a lot. I've been trusting him for this second half of the season, and he's been doing pretty well from the slot. So here is Denzel Knox getting another carry, just trying to milk this clock down. We know how dangerous their offense can be. So third and five, here's a deep throw to the right side, and that's Carl Wolf. We miss him. So wow, we had a chance to possibly score on that, make it a 17-point lead, but instead we have to punt the ball away back to this dangerous offense. So here is Taylor. Throwing off of his back foot. He's finding Jordan Porter on the left side of the field. And that's a gain of 14. That's a devastator. But we've held him in check so far in this game. So here is Taylor this time. He's going to take gotcha, it himself. Bitch. But he's getting smacked on that one. It's Michael Cummings. Take a look at that. He's got 11 tackles, 5 tackles for loss. And that sack is the biggest hit of the game for him. So now... Getting close to two minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Here's a throw to Caldwell across the middle. He gets rid of it just in time. And look at Caldwell doing it all after the catch. He picks up a gain of 16 once again. So now second and 10, Taylor. He's going to move around the pocket, throw the ball deep. And it's almost picked off. Josh Hemphill lets that go right through his hands. And this drive continues. So now a third and 10, Taylor throw across to the right side. He's got Rivero again, who's gonna pick up the first down. He saw the blitz and got rid of it quickly. And that may have been a mistake by our defense. So a minute 40 left here in the game. Taylor throw across the middle. He's got Caldwell again, who breaks a tackle and gets inside the five, another 20 yard catch for him. And now Carter is basically or Taylor is going to drive down the field, throw over the middle, and that's Jordan Porter in the end zone. Five yards out. That's a pinpoint throw on that one. Hioli Minaga was not paying attention, or he just couldn't go up to get it, and it's just perfect placement on that pass. I talked about his accuracy earlier, and now it's showing. 
So now down by three, they do line up for the onside kick. Here's the kick. It's bobbled, and it, they're going to pick it up. Yeah. Arizona State picks it up. Wow, this is disastrous. Take another look. Michael Pryor is in on this one. He can't even pick it up, and look at this. It's under his feet the whole time. All he has to do is fall on it, and somehow Arizona State comes up with it. So this next drive does continue. They do have about a minute and a half left to drive down the field and maybe even score a touchdown, but at least get into field goal range. A.J. Carter getting the draw play on that one, picking up a gain of a couple as he makes it a third and one. A minute left in this game, sending a blitz, and Fitzpatrick is open, and he gets his first catch of the game for a gain of 21 as wow, Can they do it? Taylor is just orchestrating these drives and here's another handoff to Carter and he's got a gain of 10 I'm getting nervous as they're now inside the 10 yard line first and goal snap from the shotgun he's gonna throw out to the left side and that's almost picked off by Jojo Forrest on the sideline just hold on to that one and that may have been the game so second and goal under center once again throw it out to the sideline again in the same exact spot Jojo Forrest had two opportunities and he lets them both slip through his hands. So third and goal. Taylor throws to the right side. He's going to be tackled that time. Caldwell is. And Michael Cummings saves a touchdown. So now they line up for the field goal here to tie this game up at 31 apiece. And that one's going to be good. So now we come back out onto the field. Two timeouts left. 17 seconds left. I think we can maybe do this. Get a couple first down and kick a game-winning field goal. Throw to the right side. That's a nice start. Champagne Green takes a hit and actually stays in bounds. So we hurry up to the line. So now a first and 10 here. 13 seconds left. Just running a shot play here. They send an all-out blitz. We throw the ball deep. And that's actually caught by Raheem Akusi. Touchdown 58 yards down the field. What a throw. And what a game by Drayvon Jennings. Just take a look. Just calm and collective in the pocket. He launches this one, and it's just a perfect throw to Raheem Akusi for the touchdown. And we take the seven-point lead here in the fourth quarter with seven seconds left. And here is Taylor with one last heave to the end zone to end this game. And it's knocked around, and it's going to hit the ground. And wow, what an ending to this game as Drayvon Jennings pretty much has the game of his career. Four incompletions. Four touchdowns. That's the type of game he had. He had three through the air, one on the ground. This was the Drayvon Jennings show. He showed what he can do on the national stage. This was a nationally televised game. And wow, did he not disappoint? Sammy Baldwin goes for 100 yards. Akusi almost goes for 100 yards with that big play at the end of the game. And wow, I was nervous because when they got that onside kick, I thought that they were just going to score a touchdown. And they were just going to shut us down on offense. I had no idea that that would happen. And that's a clutch play by Jennings as we move into the last game of the season. And we're ranked number five. So we move into the top five. But a lot of things need to happen here as we need everybody to lose here. Iowa's 10-1. and one. They play Nebraska. South Carolina plays Clemson here at number two. FSU plays Florida. Maybe that's a rivalry game that may end in the upset. I ne you never know. And then Texas does play Kansas, but that's probably an easy game. So we do need some things to break our way in order for us to even crack the top three and even have a chance at the national title game. But we first have to finish off this season. Next episode, we're finishing it off with UNLV. The regular season will come to an end. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.